This is Afterburner on the Sega Master System, released by Sega in 1987, based on the arcade machine of the same name, also released by Sega in 1987 and developed by AM2. Pretty sure we all know what Afterburner is. You, alone F14 Tomcats. Maybe there's just one of you because of, I don't know, defense budget cuts. But yeah, against, well, everyone else's Air Force. Absolutely love and adore this game. It's not my favorite version, that would be the PC Engine version, which I guess technically is also an 8 bit version. But the reason this will forever endear itself to me is my uh, my Sega Master System back in the day, I got it for Christmas. The deal was I would pay for half and my parents would pay for the other half, so I bought a second hand one. And it came with three games it came with this, it came with the little card version of Hang On, and it came with the original Wonder Boy. So, you know, the fact that it was one of the first games I played on this system, and this was the you know, the first sort of, you know, system I owned after the family computer, which was a ZX Spectrum, so it was a massive leap in technology. It, it just blew me away. I can tell you it was a pretty spankaroony Christmas that year. Right, let's get into this. That's actually quite cool. Check it out. America's Navy, sponsored by Sega. Maybe that's the future of war. This country was liberated by Microsoft. Next gen goodness. Right, so you've got two uh, you know, types of weapon. You've got Vulcan, which seems to be pretty bloody effective. And you've got lock-on missiles. Do they work? Oh, barrel roll. There we go. They work. Now, as I said, it, it, it's not a perfect version of the game. The music's really sort of, well, it's, it's more akin to being sat in a chill jazz club than it is in a high-pressure you know, combat situation. Pretty sure you can do this and just fly through the first ten levels. You know, there, there, there really is very little, you know, background going on. Sound effects are kind of very, very tinny. Ooh, but you got to remember, this is a very early game in the system's, uh, you know, lifespan. And all that said, one massive sort of positive for me is look at the sprites. They're absolutely amazing. They're massive. They're huge. If you compare this to all the other 8-bit versions, apart from the PC Engine, obviously, it was just, it was above them all. You know, it really, the sprites really are akin to the arcade. I should probably shoot shit now, shouldn't I? Oh, and try not to get shot. Oh! Just a shame the frame rate's so slow. Oh, here we go. Can't shoot the ground in this version. Look at that. You know when they say, right, for every, uh, you know, tree we cut down to make, like, toilet paper or stuff like that, we plant another five? That's this forest right here. Ooh. Alright. As you can see, pretty much straight away, yeah. Obviously they just pulled it because it was a bigger... Oh, shit. Big shit. Big arcade title, but, yeah, it does get pretty darn tedious quite quickly. But then, having said that, technically... You know, even though I love the PC Engine version, I guess all versions do. I think your brain is filling in the sort of gap, isn't it, between how amazing it looked in the arcade, because the arcade experience, ooh, was a, uh, it just blew you away. You, you absolutely loved it, because it was bright, the graphics were amazing, the sound was pumping, the chair was moving around all crazy-tastic and shit, and so you just wanted it at home. You could never live up to it, but you didn't care. Nice. Ooh. I don't know why I'm worrying. All I've got to do is go into that position, and that's what she said. And uh, I'll sail through the night. Sorry. Just my rockets a little bit more. I wonder why they didn't give it a, a better sound chip. Because I will, I, you know, I don't mean to start a fanboy argument or anything. I will always say I prefer the uh, Sega Master System, you know, to the uh, the NES. But let's be honest, I had far better sound. Night time. Sorry about that really obvious statement, night time. In case you didn't realise. Right. I, I, I refuel then on this stage, don't I? Ooh. It's good to see that the radar is still essentially redundant. Have I got unlimited rockets? I don't see a count. Screw it, let's find out. Let's hammer those bad boys. 
Obviously you can't flail them around like a mad bastard like you could on, you know, the other versions. I've got unlimited rockets. Oh, here you go. That's the future of the Air Force right there. Unlimited rockets. I should probably move, otherwise it's going to be a really boring dull video. Although in my defence, the game's not really helping. <laughs> I love it, but yeah, you know what I mean. I'm, I am really generally impressed though. You know, because obviously it's not sprites game, but the way it chucks the sprites around it, it really is quite, you know, impressive. Ooh. I have some fuel already. It's only so long you can carry. There we go. You can carry a. a get oh, I've got. A, I've got a lock on. That's different. Shit! Come on. Oh bollocks! I missed my ride. You don't do that in the arcade. No, no, no actually, do you? I don't know. You don't do it on the PC Engine version or the uh, Mega Drive version. It's kind of just sort of just happens. Ooh. Right, well, I'm going to call it quits here, because I think it's safe to say you're, uh, you're, oh shit, no, it's, you're familiar with what Afterburner looks like on this system. It's not a perfect game, I just love it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you there. Bollocks.